This week marks 11 months until the start of the 2024 Summer Olympic Games in Paris, France. And excitement is certainly building here in Knoxville, especially for those with personal ties to France. And Fernando Garcia Francis Chini joins us now in studio to share some of that excitement and this anticipation. Fernando. Hey, Brittany, good afternoon. So this will actually be the third time Paris hosts the Olympics, but it's been a long time. France was actually the second country to ever host the games back in 1900. 24 years later, Paris hosted the 1924 Olympics. But since then, Paris has lost three bids to host the Olympic Games. In 1992, it lost to Barcelona. In 2008, it came in third place behind Beijing and Toronto. And in 2012, it lost the chance to host the Games to London by just four votes. But now in 11 months, it'll get to do it once again, exactly 100 years after it last hosted it. And those in Knoxville with some French blood running through their veins tell me it's about time their homeland gets to host the biggest stage in sports. Cooking has always been one of Melanie Lafoy's biggest passions. If there's going to be cooking involved, it's going to be me that does it. Her second love is for French culture. Her family is originally from Bordeaux in western France, so it's only fitting that she mixed the two to create Potluck Cafe, bringing some French charm to North Knoxville. I guess it's a southern United States French fusion thing, adding like the French flair with, you know, making um, quiche-like dishes or, you know, pain perdu, which is French toast. I like the crepes. I like the dessert because they're not too sweet. They're just the perfect uh, balance of a flavor and, and, and sweetness. Anne-Hélène Miller was born in southwest France and is now chair for the French program at UT. She says the French have been waiting a long time to host the Olympics again. I also know that uh, they've been making changes in Paris. I was there lately and it, you can see the excitement in the air. Both Melanie and Anne-Hélène agree the Olympics give France a chance to show the world what's beneath the surface. I think it would be an opportunity also to discover that there's a, a lot of wonderful and uh, beautiful places to, to see outside of Paris. So what I really hope is that people see not just the like pristine baguette, you know, Eiffel Tower culture of France. I hope they see the more like, you know, the what's underneath the more multicultural, you know, culture that exists in France.